What's up guys? Let's end up this chapter number two, which was about conversion and sizing. And yeah, with a summary. I took it from this book here and it's about our batch, our CSTR, our PFR and PBR reactors and how to account for a conversion. So they give it to you in differential form and integral form when it applies, which is actually for every reactor but CSTR. And remember that CSTR is right here. So look how it's kind of similar conversions, conversions, conversions with respect of rate of reactions, rate of reactions, rate of reactions, conversion and rate of reaction. So, uh, yeah, essentially I will, as the previous table summary I gave you, I will write all this into my formulary because I don't want to derive it once again and be sure to know how to use it and be sure when and where how I solve it for example you know that this is dependent of conversion so drop it there and you know that this rate of reaction is at the outlet so please be sure guys and I love this definition because it's a little bit more complete so if you have global conditions, you can do this. The X, the conversion going out of that global system and the conversion going in of that. But be sure to be global because of course the conversion at the inlet of a single pass reactor will be zero. And out, yeah, it can take a value from zero to 100. But if you're going to be saying it's zero always, well, you'll go to our a first equation, probably you recognize more of this equation. So this is the summary guys. If you got more questions, there are more problems. Actually, there are 12 problems in this section, which I solve. Just go to this web page, go to the courses, reactor engineering, click in solve problems section and chapter number two, and you will find them and you will get more problems there. Very well explained. In video and the more you practice the more you get better so I'm very happy to tell you this is the end of block 2 reactor engineering 2 we practice the design equations but not only that now we have equations in terms of flow which we saw in chapter 1 in terms of concentration which we also saw in chapter 1 and in terms of conversion which we just saw in the chapter we've seen how the CSTR vary varies its volume according to the rate of reaction so rate of reaction is always a factor on how the volume will be calculated either in CSTR or PFR now one thing here is that the PFR is the volume or the area under that uh, curve we've also experimented when it is more suitable to use a CSTR or a PFR depending on the rate of reaction of course we now know how to optimize the volume of a whole process so you got many reactors you can set them up and hopefully you get the best of it because you want to minimize the volume and maximize the conversion now you are familiar with the space time and special velocities concept so look how I told you familiar, Not you don't need to be a master, you don't need to be the guy that knows the most of these topics, you just need to know or be familiar with these space times and special velocities. Now I want to go for more extra info, I told you before, but I also got this Facebook page, you want to go and click like, I post general chemical engineering stuff, not only courses or uh, let's say videos, I also check out web pages of chemical engineering and post them interesting videos, reactions, uh, even memes, everything. Contact me if you have any doubt and once again the reference, I love these books. This one I'm not that used to use it but these two books are my favorites. Actually we use this book from Fogler and we've seen chapter number two guys and that's everything for this uh, block, see you in the next block and good luck guys.
What's up guys? It's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.